hello there everybody welcome to my channel so today we are making a six panel skirt so here in front of me i have a wrapping paper which i will use uh to create uh the panel template okay so as you can see the the the, the wrapping paper is marked there in the middle it has a center line there so i will use the center line uh when i am putting down my measurements so I will be uh, using three measurements when creating the, the template, uh, waist measurement, hip measurement, and the length. So the two measurements, the waist and the hip will be divided by six because we are making a six panel skirt. Okay. So let us begin drafting our template. So I will start with the waist measurement. So my waist measurement is 76 centimeters. And then when I divide that 76 by six, I get 12.6. Okay, so that is the number I will be putting down there on my, on my template. Okay, so I will go on and just align my ruler there on the waist area and put my 12.6 centimeters so this is where the center line comes in now so the center line helps me or guides me uh to make uh, both the sides of my template equal okay so as i put down my ruler uh and measuring my uh 12.6 what i'll do is that i'll make sure that half of 12.6 is sitting uh, there on the center line okay so the total measurement that i'm measuring is 12.6 okay but uh the half of it which is 6.3 i must make sure that it sits there on the on that uh midline there to make sure that both uh the sides of my template are, are equal okay i hope that is clear so all in all when you're done putting your dots of your 12.6 and then when you want to me when you measure the left side only it must give you uh the half of the 12.6 which is 6.3 and then when you measure the other side the the right side it must also give you uh, uh the half of 12.6 which is 6.3 okay So I will do the same when I'm putting down uh, the, the hip measurement. But before we put down uh, the hip measurement, we need to determine the hip line. Okay, so this is where you take your tape measure, put it on your waist down to the pointy part of your hip. Okay, it is usually 20 to 25 centimeters, but I'll, I'll make mine 20 centimeters. Okay, so that is the length. That one is the length. You, you don't divide length. So I'll just put it as, as it is 20 or 25 centimeters. So that will be my, my hip line. So there on the hip line, that is where I'll be able to put my round hip measurement. So I'll go on and put my 20 centimeters on both sides. And now I am putting down my, my hip measurement, okay? I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the waist measurement, okay? The total measurement and then in the middle I put the, the, the half measurement to make sure that both sides are equal, okay? <laughs> After that, I just take my ruler and connect the waist to the hip line and from the hip line down to where I want my skirt to be. So after the hip line, I just follow the flow and the flare of the hip line. So on the other side, I just connect from the waist to the hip line. Uh, from the hip line down, I do not make the connection because uh, there are no measurements there. So I won't be sure that the, both the two sides are, are equal. So what I, I will do is that I'll just fold my paper so that I can just cut my template uh, folded like that to make sure that both the sides are equal. Okay. <music> And 
we have the template so now let's go and cut out the the fabric so we will cut out six of these from the fabric to make uh, the skirt Okay, so all we need to do now is to combine the, the panels, okay? We have all the six panels here. So we just need to go to the machine and combine them to make the skirt. And here we have the three panels uh, uh, which make up the front already combined, as you can see. Okay, so let's continue. And now all the six panels are combined. So here we are. Now we have the full skirt. Okay. So I'll just go on and close that uh, side seam there. And then I'll leave an opening for the zipper there. And then I'll finish up the waist and the, the and hem the skirt. Okay, and here I am trying to uh, make uh, an apron from the leftover fabric, the, the cutoffs, the leftover pieces. Okay, so I'm trying to make it fancy by creating pockets and decorating it. So yeah, so you will see the, the end uh, when I'm done with it. 